spirit, to God be the glory. Habakkuk 2 verse 14 says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters covers the sea. The earth, the glory, the glory of God, the knowledge. The glory of God is a knowledge. God wants us to give him all the glory. I was just listening to the book of Revelation as I'm um, in my consecration and I heard you need to start worshiping God like never before. That's what I heard. The internal gospel in Revelation was fear God, worship him, fear God, worship him, give him the glory. That's the internal gospel. That is the everlasting gospel. When you worship God, it means you fear him. When you praise God, it means you fear him. Like never before, we need to start worshiping God. Herod was a king. And he gave a speech and the people gave him the glory. And he didn't give the glory to God. And what happened is immediately an angel struck him. Worms came out of him. And I believe he continued like that to his internal hellfire where the worms never die. Because Herod did not give God the glory. Oh, it is so important to give God the glory. So important to worship him. The message of the angels to the church, he kept saying, worship God, worship God, give him the glory. No matter the situation, the first thing should be to God be the glory. When um, somebody passes away and you hear the news, the first statement is to God be the glory. And we are doing that to thank God for the life of the person, whether it's life in the tummy, whether it's um, the few hours the person had on earth. He had a chance to get the gift of life. That's why we are saying to God be the glory. To say to our creator, you gave this person the gift of life at some point. Hallelujah. In the land of the living or even in the tummy. Oh my God, this is a revelation. We need to start giving God the glory. It's time for my generation to worship God, to give him the glory. The revelation talks a lot about worship God. Heaven is about worship God, worship God. Part of the Ten Commandments, worship God. Worship the one true God who made the heavens and the earth. And today, we enter a covenant of worship. We will give God the glory. I give you, God, all the glory. I give you all the praise. Father, take the glory. Let your praises fill the earth as the water covered the sea. I refuse to take your glory, O oh God. We refuse to take your place. And we have to ask for forgiveness. Sometimes we are not uh, giving God the glory by our words, by our thoughts. Sometimes we feel prideful, like, oh, it's my doing. Forgetting that it's God that has given us the strength. Hellfire remains hellfire because worship and praise has stopped. You see? Hellfire is hellfire because worship and praise has stopped. In the book of Revelation, the people we are, um, they were going through the plagues and they, ate, and they said they cursed God from their lips. So the cursing of God is destruction. The opposite of worshiping the devil is worshiping God. So today we are going to stick to worshiping God in every situation. Say, God, take the glory. Take the glory. Papa, take the glory in every situation, every situation for the past, for the present, for the future, for the nations of the earth. Father, take all glory for this country, USA, take the glory for every continent of the world. Take the glory. Oh God, take the glory. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. I give you all the adoration for our families to God be the glory. And Lord Jesus Christ, just forgive our sins. Write our names in the book of life and let the blood of Jesus speak for your children. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Mashakata, Rabakata, Parukata, Pata, Ripakasakata, 